focaccia. One, two, three, fuck it. Are you gonna be famous? Hi. Oh, they're being very needy today. <laughs> today. Are you recording? Darwin, you can't be here. Go. Oh my god. On today's episode of Free Unsolicited Cooking Knowledge, I'll be making focaccia sandwiches, or in the words of my father, a sandwich. Welcome back, my little spoons. I do apologize that it has been 84 years. A uh, lot of big changes, as you can see. I have uprooted my life, and I haven't been happier. I know I've been away. Uh, okay. Darwin, Darwin smacked Houdini. <laughs> Darwin did not, Darwin is in the kitchen himself. Oh, did you just scare yourself? Oh my God. Anyway, uh, so basically I quit the most toxic corporate job of my life. I sold my house. I moved into a beautiful, huge farmhouse with a lot of land. So hopefully a summer series coming. If not this year, maybe next year. I'm doing a lot of planning, building gardens, etc. I have been building, oh, Houdini, I'm talking. I'm just kidding. You can bark all you want. I love you. <laughs> Built my studio kitchen for your pleasure. What else? What else have I done? Oh, happy Pride. <laughs> Hopefully I edit this before uh, Pride Month is over. We are here and we are queer. If you have a problem with that, please unsubscribe. Um, but yeah, this episode is just something I've wanted to share for a while. It's not really the start of any series. For today's journey, I will be taking you on my personal favorite sandwich, the focaccia bread sandwich. And I know Rose City Pizza does a really good focaccia sandwich. That's what inspired me about a couple years ago to make my own. This this is how I do it. You don't have to do it my way. If you're new here, you can do whatever you want the way you want. I am not making the dough. You can make your own focaccia dough. I'm sure YouTube has a million recipes out there. And I will try them on this channel. Um, I'm kind of figuring out for Niagara which doughs I like best. And the best, in my opinion, is Sobeys. Whatever you do, do not buy from Zares. Get your shit together. If I ever get sponsored, I retract this statement. <laughs> For today's episode, I'm going to try a new one I got at Camiso's. They come like this, or they come in bags. Your ingredients will be to get this or make your own dough. 700 grams of pizza dough, okay? It has to be pizza dough. You wanna keep it in the fridge until the last possible second. First thing you're gonna do, you are going to preheat your oven to 420 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. <laughs> uh, so you preheat your oven, you pulled your dough, and now you're going to get your baking sheet. Okay, so, oh. oh, they're gonna make a TikTok dance with my hand movements. <laughs> I never know what to do. As you can see, this is very well loved. I have scrubbed it several times. Um, it's clean and it's room temp. You don't want it cold, you don't want it hot. Okay, I'm telling you right now, this will not stretch out to the full size of the baking sheet I've tried. But also I don't want it too thin because I do want it to puff up. Okay, you're making a sandwich. Second ingredient. God's elixir, extra virgin olive oil. You want good quality so it doesn't taste as bitter. Actually, I love how I give advice. I don't even know if that's the truth. Okay, Google, what's... Nope, that's not what I want to ask. Um, okay, Google, why does higher quality olive oil taste different? The best olive oils are rich in bitterness, and this is the main characteristic of a quality olive oil. People also ask me, does expensive olive oil taste different? Want to hear the answer? No, thank you. Okay. I retract what I said. You <laughs> Okay. You know what? This is what happens when um, you're really good at improv. I am not an expert at cooking. Actually, this is like mid. You can get it at Costco. It's the, the gallo? Is that what it's? No. The one with the horses. The Greek one. The yellow label. I don't know. I bought one of those. How many liters? 50 liter? 100? I don't know. A million liter, it's huge, it weighs a ton. Anyway, that's what I got. So this is extra virgin olive oil, better quality, the bitterness, you know. Is that what he said? Better quality, the more bitter. Oh Lord. All right, you have your baking tray, your dough, and your extra virgin olive oil. This recipe also is very much measured with love. Don't be afraid. I take my handy dandy squeezer and I just literally, literally cover the whole pan. 
Next, you're gonna grab your little butt cheek. Oh, oh, oh God, it's exploding. Um, and then you're going to just place it. You're not gonna manipulate it beforehand. Honey, you gotta go. Oh, actually I might be wrong. This might take up a good portion. Second step, wash your hands thoroughly. BRB. And now the fun part. Houdini, can you go lie down? I can't pick you up now. I just washed my hands. Go. I promise my friends I will be getting a camera for them. So you can see their antics while we're filming. I like to get the fingertips in the oil. Mm. Also, your hands will be like super smooth after this. I'm just gonna poke my fingers into it and you can reapply. Do, 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 da, do, do. And then you're gonna pick it up and, and don't like slam it down cause you'll just like spray oil everywhere. And you're just gonna do this just a few times, okay? I must say, Camiso's dough is a lot more fluffy. Oh, oh shit. Oh God, oidy, oidy. Jesus. Uh, it's gonna look something like this hands are washed again. We're just gonna set the dough aside and we're gonna go through the focaccia seasoning. I made this one up. I'm pretty sure there's other recipes out there that are different. Uh, so you're just gonna start with a bowl and you're gonna grab your olive oil. Yeah, you're gonna squeeze at least quarter cup, half a cup. Well, start with quarter cup. You could always add more. So you have your olive oil in your bowl and I usually have a entire jar of focaccia seasoning, I guess you can say, but I ran out. So now you're just gonna see the magic happen. Fresh ground pepper. You just wanna do a layer over the oil. That's what you want it to look like. Salt, same thing. Cover the surface of the oil. Basil, I'm so sad I ran out of my, my homemade basil, so I had to go buy some. Garlic powder, not garlic salt, um, because we already added salt. We're gonna cover the layer. My, as dad said, my homemade hot peppers. This is just a portion of it. So I have several jars from when I dried it last season. And this I'm gonna be very light on because it uh, is very hot. Then we have oregano. Again, I ran out of my homemade oregano from last season. And then, the last of my uh, my homemade rosemary. I'm just gonna break up the stems to be evenly spread over the focaccia. That's what it looks like. That's the size. That's the ingredients spread over the surface of oil. So now that we drop the rosemary in, now that you have all your ingredients in the bowl of olive oil, we're gonna mix it. We're going to make sure it's all evenly incorporated, as they say. Next step before going into the oven, I'm going to just do the same thing I did to the dough earlier. I am going to mash my hands. Reminds me of that scene from uh, Young Frankenstein. You haven't touched your food. There, I've touched it. <laughs> now you're going to paint your focaccia bread. Paint it like you are an artist. I am not. Do, do, do. Paint, paint, paint. You can spread it a little more if you'd like. Now that I have painted the lovely pizza dough, Oh my God, this looks so good and it smells so good. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes to start. I haven't worked with this dough, it may raise a bit too much. Usually you wanna do this in about 25 minutes, depending on your oven. I have a gas stove now, which was a little bit of a learning curve. I'm gonna do 10 minutes, check on it. Then I'm gonna turn it in the oven, do another 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, I'll scrape the bottom. I will be back. Google. Okay, Google. Can dogs eat basil? Benefits of basil for your dog. Antioxidants are essential for your dog's health. Fend cells from harmful oxidative damage and also reduce inflammation. One cell. Basil is high okay, in Google, antioxidants, stop. including antioxidants. Okay, beta carotene, Google, which... stop. Jesus. Okay, cancel. No. Okay, Google, how much time left on my timer? It looks like you don't have any timers set at the moment. <laughs> okay, Google. <laughs> Okay, Google, what time did you stop my last timer at? It looks like you don't have any timers set at the moment. <laughs> <gasps> okay. <laughs> Never trust a man, especially if that man is Google. 
Okay, that jerk didn't even start my timer. So I turned the dough around in the oven. This dough is puffy AF, like, mm, interesting. I turned the dough around, I set a timer for five minutes because I do wanna take a flat spatula and kind of make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. Uh, in the meantime, I washed and kind of dried some basil and Houdini doesn't like basil apparently. What kind of an Italian are you? That's your first ingredient is fresh washed basil. Your second ingredient is fresh Asiago cheese. The third ingredient is fresh sliced prosciutto from Camisos. Please sponsor me. Now that's a good sponsor to have is Camisos. But let me tell you, yeah, I'm gonna say it, I don't care. I hate my Italian people. Every time I go there, all the Italian nonas elbowing me through the aisles, just no cares in the world. I swear I broke a rib there like a few weeks ago. I'm a respectful person. You really have to go in with your like soldier gear on, you know, you have to be mentally prepared for that too. Me, who has a social anxiety now, it was a very difficult trip. <laughs> the Italian women can be quite something. Love you, Nana, but she was one of those people. You can't do that, Grandma. Anyway, third ingredient. I have to make some this summer. I never got a chance to, so I had to buy them. Roasted red peppers, but in garlic. So you have to make sure that in the jar there is garlic. It adds, in my opinion, a lot more robust to the taste. These are in water. For some reason, I cannot find roasted red peppers and garlic anywhere in oil. Usually it comes in oil, but the water will just have to do. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like police trading again. <laughs> my hands are weak. I've been doing a lot of building around the property. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna take my my flat spatula and kind of scrape it around the bottom and I'm gonna turn it back around, okay? For the last five minutes of the cooking. BRB. <sighs> Pretty sure my hair is gonna go curly. That is the biggest dough I've ever seen in my life. It's like raised and it did stick to the bottom of the pan. I don't like this dough so far. I don't like, this episode's really chaotic. So with these, I'm going to just slice them so they're flat. And then I have my fresh prosciutto standing by. Uh, when we come back, I will show you the finished focaccia product and then we'll slice into it and get this sandwiched in. It's done. It's a little more brown than I would like it to be, but it's, it's not bad. It's like golden. It's gonna be crispy on the outside. Um, I took it off the original tray. I put it on a cool tray. Is that a weird focaccia to put in the thumbnail? Reminds me of the panettone. The bottom is hot. How? I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful golden brown. This has cooled. Um, ooh, you can hear that crisp. This is what it looks like. So that's what the bottom looks like. Nice golden brown. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into nine squares and then I'm gonna cut each sandwich into a half. So, uh, oh, it's a little, too many air bubbles. Sobeys to me is still like a little more dense and doughy. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, you can make dip and just put that in there. Uh, that's okay, that won't be part of the sandwich part. I'll just eat that. Yeah, like the outsides are very doughy. Oh, that's like the perfect piece right there. Like, yep. still very moist. I'm gonna cut it in half. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Atticus, don't, don't look at me like that. What is <laughs> you okay? Drink some water. He did not, there's no hairball. He's just came in here to do that. Uh, we have our piece of bread. Uh, as I was saying, I get fresh sliced prosciutto. Beautiful. I'm going to layer at least two on this one. If you're new to Italian meats, it's, it is a very fatty. Salty and salty meat. We got a nice pile going on there. Then I'm going to do uh, a roasted red pepper, and then I'm going to sprinkle on some Asiago cheese, and then I'm going to layer basil. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, it smells so good. And of course, a little olive oil. Salt pepper? No, because I salted the focaccia enough. There it is. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, I have oil lip gloss. Oh, I almost forgot, hang on. Uh, we don't drink in this house anymore. This is what we drink, some San Pellegrino from Italy. You gotta make sure it's like really cold on the verge of freezing. Mm, yes, 
that's a good year. Cheers. Ah, oh, yes, very watery. Anyway, you want to try this? Okay, one more bite for me. It's a nice complimentary piece. It's not overbearing, so yeah, I like it. It's, this is my favorite sandwich uh, to date. Just saying. One day I will make uh, make bread. Maybe I'll do a series. Dear Lord. Thank you, my little spoons, for supporting me and sticking around. And I know I'm sorry I went MIA. I am very happy to be back. I'm hoping to be posting and filming more frequently. Taking care of a farm is a lot of work and I don't even have chickens yet, yet. Thank you for this journey. This is my favorite sandwich. It's Cody approved, even though he hates fresh basil for some reason, because you're a psychopath and you're not really Italian, are you? Bah. <laughs> this is just how I do it. Do it the way you want. Try it this way. Make adjustments for what you want. Take a ham and Swiss. Let's get out. You just said they can put whatever they want. You know, a ham and Swiss probably be really good with focaccia bread. So, um... See you in six months. See you in six months. You are mean. You're the cruel person. You're the one commenting on TikTok. Thank you. And uh, you know what? F focaccia sandwiches. It's a really, really, really good sandwich. Fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.